Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my first sit down video today. I'm doing a Q&A and you guys sent me so many questions. Thank you for sending me all these questions. I loved going through them. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Starting with the basics, how old are you? I am 24. I will be turning 25 in September and my birthday is September 1st. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Are you an extrovert or introvert? I'm gonna say extrovert. Yes, I'm an extrovert. I love being social. I love going out. I love interacting with people. What trait do you love most about yourself? I would say... I think I'm very empathetic. I... I'm very understanding and I try not to judge anyone. I've heard that I'm easy to talk to, so like that makes me happy to hear. And that would probably be my favorite trait about myself. What was your first car? My first car was a white Hyundai Elantra. Are you still friends with people you went to school with? No, unfortunately I'm not. I think we all just changed so much. like. Sometimes you outgrow each other, and that's okay. What hair products do you use? Shampoo, conditioner. I really use any whatever's in the shower. I don't buy any certain brands or anything. Sometimes I don't even use conditioner, which is bad because my hair is super dry. But my hair, I keep it looking shiny and soft by using hair oils after I'm done styling. What is your skincare routine? I get asked this question so much. And I wish that I had a skincare routine to share with you guys, but I don't. My skin is just so sensitive that I can't really use products. I use like Neutrogena face wash or the Pacifica brand. Or I think it's Pacifica, the brand from Target. And I really don't use anything else on my skin. Might sound weird, but you have an amazing body. Do you have any tips for losing weight? Thank you. Um, I don't stick to a diet. I mainly just like to do portion control and that way I can eat whatever I want just in moderation. And as for workouts, I like to do Daisy Keach's booty routine, her booty workout or something, and Alexis Ren's hourglass ab workout. I used to do the, what is it, 12 three thirty on the treadmill. You probably heard of that. You've probably seen that all over TikTok. That one actually worked really well. So what do you like to do with your leisure time? I like spending it with my friends, my family. I like going out and seeing things. I also like to spend my time finding new hobbies. Anything new for me to try and anything new for me to get into. I, I don't really have like one set hobby that I stick to. I just like trying a bunch of new things. What is your love language? My love language is physical touch and quality time. What is your greatest fear? Um, my greatest fear would have to be feeling like I wasted my time. How do you manage your privacy with your boyfriend? Is it hard? It's not hard. It's just because I all I have to do is keep his identity private on my socials. Otherwise, we have a normal relationship just like anyone else how long have you been dating your mans almost a year which is crazy to say because i've known him forever he's been my friend for years and years and years but we only recently started dating tips for being confident confident is a mindset you just have to get into that mindset and understand that confidence isn't like about what you have or how you look or anything it's about understanding that other people's opinions don't matter and shouldn't hinder like how you feel about yourself. Favorite brand for clothing? I shop at a lot of different places. I like to wear a lot of basics, but if I was gonna spend money, I really like to buy some pieces from Free People and Princess Polly. How are you mentally? Mentally, I'm good. This was a sweet question. Um, I've talked about it a little bit before, but I, I deal with anxiety. Like, I have diagnosed OCD and everything. I just recently stopped going to therapy because I feel like I'm finally at the point where I can be 
self-sufficient and I can deal with things on my own and I've just been feeling really good it helps a lot when you have a good support system not just like my boyfriend or my family but I have really great friends that I can talk to whenever I need and it's just they've helped me come a really really long way did you do a clothing haul yes I can do a clothing haul um I really want to shop but at the same time I really want to save money so it's conflicting feelings but next time I shop I will do a clothing haul relationship advice this is a really broad question I mean in the general sense I would say like always remember that you guys are on the same team it sounds really cliche but once you remember that oh and also there's never a set like right or wrong in a relationship everyone's different it just depends on how you and your partner feels have you ever dyed your hair? If so, what colors? Yes, I have. I've dyed my hair a lot. Um, the craziest I've ever had my hair was like a white blonde. It was very, very platinum and very, very... It was really fun because I got to dye it like pink and purple and light blue and all those like fun colors but it's just a lot of maintenance and it's very very drying and damaging to your hair would you like to have a family of your own one day yes i would love to have a family zia also wants to have a family we love kids i'm going to be a senior in high school this year any tips for high school students i would say just stay motivated you're almost there you're almost out of there and as soon as you hit college, it's going to be a lot harder. I'm not going to lie to you. College is a lot harder and then you're going to have to know how to manage your time a lot better. So as far as, as long as you're in high school, just find a good balance. Stay motivated, do your homework and your studies and everything. But also have some time to be a kid and enjoy your life. Favorite lip gloss, the Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss favorite perfume i love the chloe perfume and tom ford's soleil blanc for the summertime especially confidence tips i'd say confidence confidence really is just a mindset and you have to train yourself to get into that mindset because confidence has nothing to do with what you have or how you look and things like that it just has to do with how you let other people's opinions affect you and how you see yourself. Do you and your boyfriend ever plan on getting married? Hopefully, we talk about it. Do you like coffee? I love coffee. Do you love to travel? Yes, I love traveling. Um, I've, I'm lucky enough to have traveled a lot with my family when I was younger. And now that I'm grown up, I have the opportunity to travel with my siblings and my friends and my boyfriend, of course. And I love it. I love seeing new places. I love the culture. I love everything about traveling. A message to your 17-year-old self. Um, I'd say be comfortable with yourself and stop caring so much about what people think or what you think people think of you and really just focus on you and focus on having fun and loving yourself and putting yourself first what's your dog's name my dog's name is koa i love her what's your nationality i am vietnamese what's your current mood i'd say i'm content i'm really chilled out right now but i like I'm in the middle of working, actually, when I'm filming this. I'm actually supposed to be working right now. Are you a clingy person? Yes and no. I don't need to be texting or, like, talking to someone constantly, but when I'm around them, I like to be close to them. I'm, like, my, like I said earlier, my love language is physical touch, so I hug my friends a lot. Obviously, I hold my boyfriend's hand constantly, and I just, like, I'm always close to them physically, but I don't need to be talking to them 24-7. I don't need to be texting them throughout the day. How many languages can you speak? I can speak English, Vietnamese, and I studied Japanese for four years. What's your pet peeve? Rude people. 
I, I really do not like rude people. Dealing with outside energy. This is something you will have to really train yourself to do and train yourself to get used to because it is not easy to say that like just don't care what other people think or who cares like don't dwell on other people's opinions and stuff but obviously that's easier said than done like it's hard to not let those things get to you but i think something that has really helped me a lot is just getting to know myself and understanding like myself more and my values and my morals and my likes and my dislikes and just i think the more you get to know yourself and the more you understand yourself you are more in line with like your higher purpose so you're kind of you're kind of just like focused on yourself and you like other people's opinions don't really get to you as much of course things are going to get to you things are going to hurt your feelings we're all human but once you prioritize yourself and put the main focus on yourself you really just naturally you don't really care all too much what do you like the most about your boy fee he's very patient and understanding and those i think those are the two qualities that made me fall in love with him some academic career advices for college students know how to manage your time because it's very 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 easy to fall behind um and i think that's the biggest thing is just time management what is your biggest regret in life i would say spending so much time and energy on the wrong people or spending so much time and energy on people who didn't benefit me in any way and i don't mean benefit in the they would do things for me or they would give me things and stuff like that but if anyone's doing if people are doing more harm to you than good don't even don't invest your energy into them i think that's gonna be it for this video i have a lot of questions about z and like his job and stuff like that i'm personally not too comfortable answering because it's his personal business it's his private details and i don't want to share that because it's not my place to share um thank you guys for all the questions and thank you for watching and i hope you guys have a good day i will try to make my vlogs longer i know i get that feedback a lot that my vlogs are so short but i just i'm terrible at vlogging i need to get better i will practice i promise i will try to put out longer vlogs but thank you guys for all your love and support i appreciate it so much and i hope you guys have a good day and i love you bye